Hello everyone, welcome again in Eggman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will create a new series and it's a continuation from the topic about CMG for CO2 sequestration modeling. And in previous series, we discussed about CO2 trapping with structural trapping and then hysteresis or residual trapping. And in this series, we will focus on solubility trapping. All right, so yeah, we will dig in. We start with the WinProp section. You see, this is the original WinProp file that we create as a base case. So I click this one, this WinProp CO2 injection dot that, and I drag it to WinProp 2019, just like this one. And let's wait. Okay. So this is my WinProp section. And you see in this tree, we have simulation data set, simulation steps. Click this one, title EOS units. And the command line, which is the title, I type in WinProp CO2 injection. So let's say I want to create a new case. I can just add another command, something like this, underscore maybe base case plus solubility. So I want to modify my case so that solubility trapping will be considered, okay? And for the basis equation of state, still we use Peng Robinson 1978. And then for the unit, I still use this one, SI unit with pressure with KPA and temperature with degree centigrade. And for the pit, fit, mole. All right, and then we go down to component. You see, we still have two components, CO2, carbon dioxide, and uh, methane. And we are currently under component tab. And here we have coefficient, all right? And then this is interaction coefficient. And we also have tab for viscosity. And this one is important for our solubility trapping case. Click aqueous phase. And then for the aqueous phase salinity and NECL concentration, assuming zero unit. And for the Henry's law constant correlation, base case, we use Harvey's method. But in this series, in this case, I want to use Lingium method, 1986. Okay, make sure if you want to follow this case, make sure you select Lingium method. All right, and that's all. For CO2 options, if you want to do more advanced exercise, you can tick these boxes, but let's, let's start with a simpler case. So I, I will not involve them. Okay, so far so good. And of course we can save as we want to create a new win profile all right like this and yeah maybe we can call it or we can name it base case plus solubility okay save all right and yeah if you want to see component property plot like this the composition, we will maintain the composition for the primary components, CO2 0.001, and for the methane 0 0.999. And then for the simulation, CMG GEM EOS model, file selection, okay, take print component properties for GEM to this file. All right, and we take also use Rocho aqueous density correlation. And for the aqueous viscosity correlation, we use casting. Okay, so far so good. And this one for solubility parameters, because we want to focus on the solubility trapping, we take this one, print aqueous phase component solubility parameters. And base case, print solubility parameters 
from a previous oil gas water flash, but now we specify recalculate solubility parameters at temperature and pressure below. So our condition is temperature 50 degrees centigrade and for the pressure 11,800 kPa. All right, so far so good. And then we go to simulation data set. Okay, so yeah, we can, we can check the script file, the script section or the script version of our selection. Okay, and then yeah, we can save again, save current data set. And yeah, we can run simulation. All right, so far so good. Now, after we run the simulation, simulation results, we are currently in event log. And you see this file, winprop underscore CO2 injection underscore base case plus solubility dot that validation is okay. So for the winprop section, we already okay. And we can close this window first. All right, and then Let's check the, the vials. You see, this is the base case, winprop CO2 injection dot that, and winprop CO2 injection base case solubility. This is the new case. And then this one for the gem section or the gem version dot gem. And this one for the gem for the base case. Okay, we can check or maybe I think we can click this one, the dot version. This is the base case and we want to compare it with this one, the solubility case. Okay, they are in notepad file. And you see this is the header and then the title and then we can go to this one. This is the N composition. We can expand a little bit. And then also this one. Let's find solubility here. Okay, solubility here. Okay. Or maybe not here. The gem, this one. Let's see, I want to open it in Notepad. Let's see what happened. Okay, I think it's good. And then also for the gem, for the solubility case, right click, I want to open it with Notepad as well because it's simpler. So we can, yeah, we can compare the script for the gem version between the two cases. And I want to show you here, solubility. Solubility under omega A, omega B and paracore. So here, this is wind prop CO2 injection, and this is wind prop CO2 injection base case plus solubility. And on the right script, I mean on the left script, we cannot find the solubility section, whereas on the right script, we can find solubility script here. Right, solubility, Henry's constant calculated at 50 degrees Celsius, and then this is the Henry constant. And then this one, the ref reference pH and then phi infinity. All right. So these are the, the new constraint or the new condition that we 
give into the model because we now want to focus on solubility trapping. All right, so that's what happened on the script after you add solubility trapping. All right, and yeah, we can actually copy this one, copy the script. Okay. And then we can close, all right. After copying the script, now we want to continue to the simulation. Okay, and then we will find the, the dot file. Let's find the hysteresis trapping version. This one, CO2 injection hysteresis dot that okay and then yeah actually we want to add solubility trapping on the model that already contain hysteresis trapping okay so hysteresis dot that we drag it to c edit because we want to modify the script a little bit all right smart text editor for data sets Okay, this is the edit. All right, so here you see CO2 injection base plus hysteresis trapping. Okay, base means structural trapping plus hysteresis trapping. Okay, this is the script. It's quite long, but don't worry. It's long because the date, the date of our simulation. And then we can find what we want on component properties. Okay. And then let's find the section at which we can paste our solubility code. So let's see, this is CW. Okay. I think here, activity model. And then we have viscosity, aqueous viscosity with Kestin. And then WinProp, Geochem database, and then aqueous here. And then aqueous fill off. And after that, we have rock fluid section. Okay, so I will press enter here. Okay. And then we can paste the solubility code here. Just like that, very easy. Now we rectify our already made code with solubility trapping, with solubility code. Okay, so we have asterisk and then solubility and double asterisk Henry calculated. This is just a comment and then Henry constant, and then this one ref pH, and then V infinity. All right, so first a good, make sure you put the solubility section after this aqueous density by Rocho before rock fluid section. All right, and then we can go to the top. And of course we want to change the, the title. And then let's see, I want to call it plus solubility. Okay. And then of course we want to save as. Okay. And then we can call it hysteresis plus solubility. Okay. All right. And then, yeah, we can minimize, minimize this C edit or go to this one. Okay, let's find our file, refresh a little bit. This one, CO2 injection hysteresis solubility dot that. Okay, this is our file. And then of course we want to run this model. So drag it to the jam. Okay. So this is submit or run a simulation job by, by the jam. 
okay number of processor four all right and everything else okay input file co2 injection hysteresis plus solubility and then the output yeah the input file is dot dot and the output file is dot out okay so far so good and then yeah we can click okay and you see on this log we have documents co2 injection hysteresis solubility dot that priority normal status running all right we can right click it's still running but okay view log file okay still running okay you can review the log file we can refresh and then click ok All right status running and then Yeah, you can focus on this section for the files with title hysteresis plus solubility. We have dot that. This is for the log file dot log. And for the result will be dot out. Okay. And for the result file is dot RST. Okay. And SR3 is also important. I mean, for the result, we use SR3. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, you can check again the log file from the top down to the bottom. Okay, so the computation, the simulation has been completed. So yeah, the most natural way after this is, of course, we want to see the result by opening it using the results okay so we have here our results machine so to open that you can open the results or you can also drag this sr3 to the results okay and yeah i think we can discuss about that on the next video so thank you so much for watching i hope this exercise I hope this milestone is important and interesting for all of us and see you in the next video where we will show and evaluate the result with solubility trapping. Okay, thank you.